know, this is your boy, Kevin Joseph, a.k.a. King Charisma, a.k.a. The Charismatic Wonder Man, a.k.a. Chicka, 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 black some shitty. How y'all doing? Welcome to my first episode of my new movie review web series. As you can see, I'm wearing a uh, Joker shirt because our first episode that we're going to be uh, talking about and what we're reviewing about is a movie that I saw last year and it takes place in a DC comic universe in a way and it explains um, one of uh, one of the greatest villains in the comic book history of all time. So you're probably wondering what are we going to be talking about King Charisma? Well, we are going to talk about the movie Joker. Joker was directed by Tom Phillips and it stars Joaquin Phoenix as a titular character um, as author Fleck and Joker and um, Robert De Niro who plays Murray Murray in the movie and uh, it made a box office for 1.074 billion dollars and it got in a rotten uh, tomato score of 68% also it's been distributed by Warner Brother Pictures so the movie centers around a man who's a worker dressed as a clown to sell furniture, but he gets being treated with disregard by society. And from this move going on through the movie, he goes from this ritual transformation from a mentally ill patient to becoming uh, one of the greatest comic book villains of all time, the Joker. And this movie has been been beloved by many fans. And you can see throughout the entire movie that Joaquin Phoenix put out a great performance winning him both the Academy Award and the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor. So let's talk about the pros of the movie. Um, as I said before, there has been a lot of elements um, in this movie uh, placed from the movie uh, Taxi Driver directed by Martin Scorsese. And if you can tell from this movie, um, Arthur Fleck's characterization is going through the same process that uh, Robert De Niro's character in the movie Taxi Driver went through. And what I like about this movie is that uh, Joaquin Phoenix's performance is very stunning. Like you can tell he's very emotional, he's very charismatic, and you see this like darkness inside of him that you can tell that's transforming him from being this um, mentally ill patient uh, from Arkham who's working as a, a, a clown for uh, selling furniture to being a failed comedian trying to make it big to now all becoming the most popular movie villain uh, character of all time was really interesting. And I can tell by what Joaquin did for this uh, performance is really amazing. I'm not gonna take anything away from Heath Ledger's performance as a Joker, rest in peace. He did an incredible job. And to me, I still think he's the better Joker out of all the uh, amazing actors that have portrayed the Joker. Um, so I'm not going to take that away, but Joaquin Phoenix has put so much charisma into his character. And what I like is that he tries to show more of his emotion. You can tell through his eyes, his facial expressions, his characterization is pretty amazing for this movie. And if you have not seen Joker, you definitely should check it out. Um, so that's one of my pros. Another pro that I will say is that I love all the characters in a movie, especially um, Robert De Niro's character. He plays Murray Murray, who is a TV host slash comedian in a way. And you can tell that his character is a very difficult um, one, but you can tell that it plays a big part in this movie for Joker because Arthur Fleck is kind of fantasizes him being with uh, Murray Murray. And I don't want to give out any spoilers because that's not what this movie review is about. But you can tell that these two characters will intertwine in the movie and it will provide more characterization for um, Joaquin Phoenix's character. Of course, this is not a perfect origin story. And that's one of the cons I want to mention. So there's no clear indication of a real origin for Joker. We don't really know his real name. So Todd Phillips kind of put a lot of work into it. And I think one of the cons I will mention is that this movie drags out with its story. Um, so many other characters that intertwine and Arthur Fleck in the movie, um, they kind of kind of let him down. And, you know, as for uh, Joaquin Phoenix putting a lot of work in this movie, you can tell that um, 
the story was kind of dragging out. Thus, it makes the movie so long. But I can understand why it was long because of the pace of the movie. So that's only one of my cons uh, for the movie. But I do appreciate how they put a lot of elements from the movie Taxi Driver and The King of Comedy, which I have not seen The King of Comedy. So if you know much about The King of Comedy, definitely comment um, after this video and see your thoughts, w what kind of elements they put from that movie, because I might need to check that out in the future. So that's uh, pretty much uh, one of my cons. As I said before, the story of the pacing is very weak um, and very fast-paced. Uh, fast another thing, um, another con I guess I'll mention is that um, I feel like the setting of the movie was kind of a little bit down. As you can tell, this is Gotham City, but of course, this is taking place around in Brooklyn, New York. And um, how Todd Phillips directed the movie, um, especially with the location, was really nice, but I felt like it was kind of sappy the way how they were treating things of like how things were in the 80s. Um, I'm, of course, I'm not, I was never born in the 80s, so I don't really know for sure how the 80s was, but you can tell from this movie, there's a lot of 80s elements towards this, and you see some of that, especially with the music, um, the clothing, um, everything else in between, so I felt like the setting was just a little bit off, and of course, like I said about the story, the pacing was just a bit, was just a bit down. That's pretty much of my cons, but overall throughout this entire movie, I think it is a masterpiece. Um, and I don't and I don't believe why everyone thinks that this movie is trying to teach you about violence. It has nothing to do about violence. And I know Chris Stockman, one of the subscribers that I checked on his page, he talked about this movie and he said that how a lot of people um, didn't love this movie because of there was so much violence. All I can say is this. Um, this movie is not teaching you about violence or how to be a violent person. Um, Joaquin Phoenix's character, um, you can tell that he went through a whole lot um, throughout this entire movie. And you could tell that he was being bullied and he suffered and everything like that. He tried to maintain a calm posture. Of course, he goes through a violent urge to become that uh, villain that we know. Of course, you don't see him being a villain in this movie, but you can see some traits of a villain from his character. And I think that's why I think people really didn't like this movie because there was so much violence and it was like it was teach you about violence. If you're someone that don't like violence, this movie is not for you. And if you have kids and you don't want them to watch this, this is probably not a movie for them either. But of course, this is a comic book movie in a way. So Todd Phillips kind of depicts the violence um, that we see in people. Um, and of course, you know, of course, I don't agree with the violence, but this is not a movie where I'll just say, oh, I don't want to watch it because this movie is so violent and um, my kids are going to be learning this stuff. Like I said before, if you think this movie is very violent, this is not a movie you would want to watch. But overall, I will say that this movie, um, you kind of go through uh, everything from his character and you kind of feel a little bit of sympathy for his character. For Joaquin Phoenix's character and that's why I feel like this movie is one of my favorite movies of 2019 so you definitely should check it out I'm going to give Joker a 4.5 for excellent and I give it an A so I hope you guys enjoyed my movie review of course this is my first episode I was really nervous to um, do this review. So uh, be patient with me. Um, so um, <clears throat> I'm going to announce the title of my new uh, movie review web series and the person that's going to win $20. So here's the drums. And the winner is Jake Nager for the title King's Kick-Ass Reviews. So that's going to be my new title uh, for my new movie review web series. So congratulations, Jake Nager. So shout out to him. And he wants me to say this. He wanted me to say uh, from his words, he said, thank you, God, for giving me this opportunity. And I thank you for my good friend, uh, King Charisma, for everything he's done for the videos and everything he's done for the Trojan community because I went to Troy University and uh, he also wants to thank uh, all his saints 
uh, for putting up a great season. And he's going to go out a who that? Because, of course, I'm a big uh, Saints fan, as you guys know. So, congratulations to Jake Nager. You won $20. It will be sent to you on Vimo by the end of the week. And for my runner-ups, uh, Catherine Hartridge and Austin Holmes, you guys still going to win something uh, from me. So, you'll also get a little bit of money from me. I also want to shout out two of my uh, best friends, uh, Austin Holmes and Catherine Hartridge. Um, Austin Holmes wanted me to say this uh, to all my fans. He said, thank the Lord for giving me this opportunity for this competition. And thank you to King Charisma for um, having me to participate in this competition. And hopefully whoever wins this uh, contest will use that, mo that money um, smartly as I would have had. Um, but of course, Austin Holmes, you're going to win something. You too, Catherine Hartridge. Thank you guys for participating in this contest. And like I said before, um, there will be more contests uh, coming soon. So if you haven't won anything, don't pout. Uh, we're going to come up with some uh, more contests later on in the future. Um, excuse me, in the future. So um, can't wait for that. And thank you all again for participating. But uh, I want to say congratulations to the participants for this contest. There will be more contests going on throughout um, all my videos, including this web series. So um, if you enjoyed my uh, movie review, like I said, it wasn't perfect, but I did what I could. Um, definitely give this a like, a, yeah, a big like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, also, follow me at King Charisma 25 on Instagram, at King Charisma 25 on Twitter, and at King Charisma 22 on Snapchat. Very important. Um, there will be more movies I will be reviewing. The next movie will uh, start up with The Terminator. This will be one of the six Terminator movies where we, we will, ah, excuse me, we will be reviewing. So uh, definitely stay tuned for another episode of that. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. And I'll see y'all next time of another episode of King's Kick-Ass Reviews. And by the way, let's end it with a lights, camera, King. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.